Noah and the Great Flood. Noah was a man who worshipped God. Everyone else hated and disobeyed God. One day, God said something shocking. I will destroy this wicked world. God told Noah. Only your family will be saved. God warned Noah. A great flood will come and cover the earth. Build a wooden ark, a boat big enough for your family and many animals. Noah was ordered. God gave Noah exact instructions. Noah got busy. Yes, sir. People probably mocked as Noah explained why he was making an ark. Noah kept building. He also kept telling people about God. Nobody listened. Noah had great faith. He believed God even though rain had never fallen before. Soon the ark was ready to be loaded with supplies. Now came the animals. God brought seven of some species, two of others. Birds, great and small, beaks, tiny and tall, made their way to the ark. Perhaps the people shouted insults at Noah as he loaded the animals. They did not stop sinning against God. They did not ask to enter the ark. Finally, all the animals and birds were aboard. Come into the ark. God invited Noah. You and your family. Noah, his wife, his three sons and their wives entered the ark. Then God shut the door. Then the rain came. A great downpour soaked the earth for 40 days and nights. Flood waters poured over towns and villages. When the rain stopped, even the mountains were underwater. Everything that breathed air died. As the waters rose, the ark floated on top. It may have been dark inside, maybe bumpy, maybe even scary, but the ark sheltered Noah from the flood. After five months of flooding, God sent a drying wind. Slowly, the ark came to rest, high in the mountains of Ararat. Noah stayed inside another 40 days, as the water lowered. Noah sent a raven and a dove out of the ark's open window. Not finding a dry, clean place to rest, the dove returned to Noah. A week later, Noah tried again. The dove came back with a new olive leaf in its beak. The next week, no one knew the earth was dry because the dove did not return. God said to Noah, It is time to leave the ark. Together, Noah and his family unloaded the animals. How grateful Noah must have felt. Thank you, God. He built an altar and worshipped God who had saved him and his family from the awful flood. God gave Noah a wonderful promise. Never again will I send a flood to judge human sin. God gave a great reminder of his promise. The rainbow. Noah and his family found new beginnings after the flood. In time, his descendants really people the whole earth all the nations of the world came from Noah and his children. Thank you for listening to this episode of Bye Kids, Four Kids Bible Stories. Produced by Audio Visual Education in partnership with BibleForChildren.org. You can download more episodes of Bye Kids, Four Kids Bible Stories for free. Just search for us on iTunes. It's easy. You can also rate us on iTunes. It really makes a big difference and will help us to bring you more stories. <laughs>